Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little mini Ulta haul. I went to Ulta today and I just figured I'd jump on the camera and share with you guys what I got because it has been a little while since I filmed a video and I do apologize for that. I've just been so in a funk lately. It's been crazy. Excuse my raunchy ass nails. I'm going to get them done next week but it's been such a crazy week lately, and or the past month has been pretty crazy. I've just been in a funk where I just wasn't inspired with any makeup tutorials or like even YouTube. I would barely even look on my phone to watch even YouTube videos. I was just in a crazy funk. I got the Jaclyn Hill palette and I didn't even touch it until like three, maybe four weeks after I got it. Like it was just sitting on my vanity, like not even being touched. So yeah, but now I'm back and hopefully I can get up more videos for you guys. I know a lot of you guys liked whatever I was consistently uploading three times a week. So I'm trying to get back to that. But yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into the video. So I went to Ulta. Got quite a bit of stuff. I was just mainly going for like a couple of things. I was wanting to do like a new drugstore um, like video, I guess. But I mean, I kind of just went overboard and just got more than what I should have. The first thing that I picked up was this Carly Bible uh, Deluxe Edition palette. I know I'm probably like the last person on earth to get my hands on this palette, but. I just wasn't really into buying it online. I don't know. I'm very skeptical about purchasing palettes online because I always feel like every time I'll get it in the mail, like it'll come broken. It hasn't happened, but I mean, the possibilities are there. And I seen this at Ulta and I was just like, why not? So yeah, I really love the marble type of packaging on it. And it comes with, I believe 21, yeah, 21 eyeshadows, a highlighter, well, a few highlighters but I do have her first palette but I mean I hardly use it because I don't really use purples and I noticed that this one had a lot more browns in it I mean of course there are like these three purple ones right here but I mean other than that majority of it is pretty neutral so I thought this would be a really good palette to get plus I mean I love highlighters so that was what really sold me on it and yeah, and I really am so anxious to try out this color. I mean, it's so different, but yeah, I picked that up. And then I also went to get the Real Techniques Bold Metal Collection Miracle Diamond Sponge. Mine's kind of like in there all janky, but yeah, it's basically um, a beauty blender that's shaped like a diamond. And I seen Nicole Cutler use this a few times in our videos and I just really wanted to try it out for myself because it looks pretty interesting like it's shaped like a diamond and it has so many edges I feel like the point will be very easy to get like in the inner corner and hard to reach spots and yeah I'm just really curious to try it so I picked up that and then I also went ahead and got the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I've heard really great things about this mascara. I did hear that you have to basically like just like undo the cap and like let it sit overnight. I wouldn't sit it overnight. I think I would just sit it for like a few hours um, because I've heard that it's very liquidy and they say that if you don't like just let it, you know, dry up a little bit that it's a hot mess but it was like four bucks and yeah I mean I'm always curious to try out new mascaras I'm pretty sure you guys know that the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara is like my all-time favorite mascara so I really want to try something that's cheaper this is like about four dollars and the Voluminous one I think is about around the same price maybe a little bit more like six dollars I don't know but yeah I picked this up and then I needed to repurchase the NYX um, eyebrow gel. It's the Control Freak Clear Just Plain Eyebrow Gel. This is such a good dupe for the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I love this so much. It comes out 
the exact same way the Anastasia one, like how it has so much like gel on the bristles. And yeah, I love it and it lasts me quite some time. So I just repurchased one of those. The next thing I picked up was a uh, NYX matte lip cream. I feel like I'm always purchasing like some lippy from NYX. I just feel like I always grab a new one every time I go in there. But this one is in the shade London and I've been having my eye on this for quite some time now and I'm so anxious to try it. But here it is like in the tube. Let me see. Can you guys see it? It's just like a really pretty brown nude and it smells like like cake or candy. Like I love these, the smell of these. They are so good. I love them so much. And they don't really last very long on the lips, but I mentioned before in videos that I don't mind applying lipstick throughout the day. And it just keeps your lips hydrated. So I picked up that. And then the next two items, okay, we're kind of like just like walking around, seen it, bought it. Um, I got the Soap and Glory Hand Food. Um, I guess basically it's just a hand cream, um, non-greasy hydrating with shea butter, macadamia oil, and marshmallow. And I really got this because of the smell. Like, oh my god, I can't even explain the smell of this. But it smells so, like, fruity and, ugh, I don't know. I just love the smell of this. And I never tried Soap and Glory. I've always heard, like, a lot of YouTubers get, like, PR packages from them and... I don't know, just never tried it. And I'm always putting lotion on my hands, so I thought this would be perfect to just throw in my bag. But yeah, I picked that up. And then the last thing I picked up, which was quite a surprise because I wasn't even like planning on buying this, but it is the Benefit Boing Airbrush Concealer. I got mine in the shade number two, and it's like really cute packaging you see it's kind of like an eraser looking type of packaging and then whenever you open it up it has like a it looks like a silver tin can kind of like it almost looks like a chapstick it looks so cute i mainly got it probably because of the packaging but i swatched it in store and it was so creamy and it just has that protection on top of it and that's what it looks like right here. I'm hoping this color will be good for me because I have gotten a lot tanner. So, I mean, I mean the number the number 1 looked like it'd be a little too light, so I got number 2. So, hopefully it works. I don't know. I've never really been like a paste um concealer type of person. I know I have the NARS one, and I use it to spot conceal for stuff that I want to cover. A little bit more than what my foundation would so yeah I'm gonna try using this hopefully it's good and it doesn't crease but yeah I went ahead and I picked that up so yeah that basically wraps up my little Ulta haul for today I felt like I went through it super fast but let me know if you have tried any of these products if you love them you hate them or you're actually gonna go ahead and try them out for yourself let me know down in the comments and I do want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.